Hello, folks. This is just a, a vid I'm doing. You know, this is Freedom 49. For this vid is about one of the most disturbing and controversial topics. It, it's, it goes beyond Roe versus Wade. It's about women and about who, who would choose to go to this sick, demented pile of crap. This, this, this demon with horns. This, this, this morally perverse in the lowest sense. The mad butcher, abortionist killer, Dr. Kermit Frankenstein. And it's so shocking, even the newscasters who've been in on battlefronts in Iraq, Afghanistan, all over the world, who, who brought tears to their eyes, made their skin crawl after they witnessed it and talked about it. Even Rush Lumbar, if you'll pardon the expression, it even got him upset. And I have nothing good to say about him. I, I don't mention his name. But I'd like to know, let me give you a little bit of background. In Pennsylvania, this sick doctor ran an abortion clinic. His real name, Dr. Kermit Gosnell, a black man who was racist. Now, what he did, I'm just giving you a little bit of briefing. He took the white women upstairs to the clean rooms. And took black women and Hispanic down to the filthy rooms. Let, 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 let me let me give you a little example. What was in the clinic that they found when they went in there? Fetuses, fetal remains, dismembered baby parts, parts of their skull and head, especially for some of the baby feet in bags, jars. Milk jugs, cat food containers kept around the clinic, in the freezer, and in the basement. Some containers were stored in the same refrigerator where clinic staff kept their lunches. Real sick. The women would sit down and moaning and groaning and agonizing pain and sat in on filthy recliners, blood soaked with blood stained, old blood stained blankets over them with the felt, the smell of Cat urine filled the air as the black women and other women lined up to go down into the basement to have this wacko murder their babies as he punctured colon walls and, 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 and the lining of the uterus and left them and one even died in there and the women would be moaning and crying and they still went out and as he left parts of the babies in some of their wounds you animals, you, you sickles. You, you. And let me tell you what else. You know. Semi, the women were semi-conscious, moaning women, sat in dirty recliners and on blood-stained blankets. And one investigator said it was like going into an extremely bad gas station restroom. They want to know why the health department didn't go in and close this man down. But what was more astonishing to everybody is how the women, not the white, the minority, especially black, which account for 36.8% of all the abortions, double that of the white women, almost double that of the Hispanics, by yourself, Almost 40% of all abortions in America, black like, women, and this had to be just niggardom, this, this old spookism, ungodly, unloving, care, just, just the heart of a, a, a wild dog. You don't want God, you'll do anything. But this is just takes the cake. This is how, this is about as just disgusting as you can get. Let me give you a little bit more background in the house. At one woman, 
Konamea Munger, 41, died in Gozel's, at Gosnell's care after his untrained staff administered an overdose of Demerol. See, this is the norm. This is what he was giving the people. Because it was illegal to start with, but even the the health department in Pennsylvania, in Philadelphia, didn't go by to see this man. But like I said, what was more, this is about race. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, Roe versus Wade. They're all saying this now, and it's going to be, it's coming out, and it's going to work. What they can't understand is, why do you women go, especially you African-American women, went and told your friends all over the East Coast to flock to this man? Do you understand the horror? It's a house of horror. It, it, and this man, get it, not only was he racist, he was black. Look how he treated you. And he would do a, there were reports he were murdering babies while they were, were alive. And you women knew that. That's why you didn't report them because you knew that what they're saying now, a lot of you would be brought up on charges. You sick savages. I'm not talking about all our black women and all white women and and our Spanish women, a lot of our sisters wouldn't, and even the Spanish women and white women wouldn't be caught dead doing anything like this. But aborting your babies in the third and fourth trimester and, and killing your babies while you were alive, that's why you didn't report it because you knew if they found out they would lock you up too. You sick animal. Like I said, I'm not talking to our, to our sisters. I'm not talking to our our saints in God. I'm just talking to, 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 to the few women who stoop that low to go to this sick animal and murder your babies who are alive. They should they should tear a new butthole in you and throw you under the jailhouse, you sick savages. This is a disgrace. You're a disgrace to God. I don't care if you are atheist. God made you. You animal. And you are capable of doing anything. So they said in order for him to cover up the advanced ages of the fetuses, he would mandate his untrained staff to do the ultrasound in different positions that would make it eat, make the baby or the fetus look small. How sick can you get? Don't you understand? Especially you black women, that the black race is dying out. They already think you're the filth and disgust of the world. You just made the rest of us look bad. This when we're talking about gangsters. And a lot of you women, if those boys, you were, those guys you know you, uh, who you were going with knew that. And believe me, I know what gangsters do. You would, be, you would be in hot trouble. In hot water. You're a disgrace. I don't understand you. God help you. God help you. This is a lesson for every young woman, especially black. Don't do what you do. Keep your legs closed. Go to school. Get yourself saved. Don't be like the rest of these. Not all the rest, but the few animals that have, that are participated in this sickness. Let's pray, saints. We got these, not you, because you saints, we have to pray for these people. These are just sick and disgusting. God bless you, saints. Hmm? What did you say, huh? I clicked on it.